Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Yancey. I'm co-director of the Center for Health Equity here at UCLA and also a professor in health services. And I've had the opportunity over the last 10 years to work on a, a strategy for getting people up and moving. We came up with something called the liftoff. We created 10-minute liftoffs, and now we call them instant recess breaks because that communicates it a little bit better. All right, brothers and sisters, it's time for an African dance liftoff. Get out of those chairs and get ready to move. Left and right. Here we go. Left and right. Just like so. Good. In the city of Duarte, for instance, one of the city council members, Lois Gaston, really decided to, to give this a push. And she teamed up with the Parks and Rec director and actually implemented instant recess breaks as a regular part of the city council meetings every two weeks. Orange County, California, is another success story of ours. Um, for the past couple of years now, we've been training uh, employees, starting with the health promotion staff in the health department of the Orange County Healthcare Agency, um, in implementing instant recess breaks um, in as many places as possible. So again, this kind of has taken a period of time, but they actually got a, a formal opinion from the county um, administrator's office that instant recess breaks can be done on paid time. Physical activity is probably one of the most potent tools in our prevention arsenal. Just short bouts of physical activity can lead to uh, an entire range of health benefits from uh, lifting mood and helping to prevent or control depression, to improving productivity, um, partly through changes to our cognitive processing. We're actually able to process more efficiently um, when we're active as a whole, but also after short bouts of physical activity. Um, physical activity obviously helps to prevent cardiovascular disease and diabetes. It helps to control our weight. Um, really, there's almost nothing that it doesn't improve. The city pays for a lot of health care costs, um, not only for the residents, but for their own employees. And if, in fact, the city employees could even increase their physical activity levels by, say, five or ten minutes a day, given that the average person is only getting six to ten minutes a day, you're talking about being able to double or triple the amount people are getting. The opportunity is mandatory. I mean, we really are pushing for everybody to have access to at least one 10 minute exercise break a day. Ideally, we would like to see an instant recess break at least once a day in every office setting. And then whenever people are gathered for a meeting for an hour or more,